Listen, I advocated for debates in the Democrat on the Democratic side, of which we didn't have a real primary process, and I think the same holds true here. Nielsen said there were 67 million people that tuned in to the last debate. If I'm running for president and I have the opportunity to talk to 67 million people and lay out my plan, let's do that. But for the Democrats to call the man a chicken, it's, it's ridiculous, because we got too much, too much on the line right now to play these kids' game. Tricks are for kids. Dave, what's your read on how close the race is and what that means about what matters most for the Trump campaign? What do they have to hit most between now and 42 days from now? Well, first of all, let me just say I totally agree with her. She hit it right on the nose, Chris. This is so important what, what uh, Nina was just talking about. This is so, so important. The American people are demanding answers. That's all they want. They want to have a conversation with both candidates whether it's in the debate format or not. But Vice President Harris has not had any press conference. She doesn't talk to reporters, and that's why she needs another debate. She's a little desperate. Look, she thought she was going to get this bounce. She didn't. Uh, you look at these polling uh, numbers that you just showed today. Donald Trump is in a better position today than he was at 45 days out before 2016. The polling is going his way, and the undervote, which we can get a chance to talk about over the next 45 days is going to come into play. So I would just submit to you, Donald Trump is out there like he is right now at this rally, talking about the economy, talking about energy, talking about inflation and the real cost to the American people. But he's also talking about foreign policy and getting out of these wars that Biden and Harris have started or gotten America into. He, he's going to be, continue to talk about the border and immigration. Those are the issues that the American people want to talk about, well, they want to hear from, and that's the problem yeah. that, that Vice President Harris has. Look, but there's an opportunity in it, Geraldo, right? Because Trump's talking about the problems. Um, but to be fair, Harris is getting hit with a stick to offer solutions that he isn't. Um, th this guy's not spitting details every two seconds either on the issues that matter, but he's running a grievance election, Geraldo. And do you believe that this race is still Trump's to lose? I do. I think that uh, in recent week or so, he clearly has gotten the momentum. He survived more than just Chris the assassin's bullets. Uh, he has uh, uh, survived the barrage, uh, uh, the convicted felon, first convicted felon to run for office, hundreds of millions of dollars in fines, uh, uh, two uh, impeachments. He survived a lot. I don't. I don't think people are thinking about Israel right now, unless you happen to be Jewish or. Uh, uh, or Arab, uh, Palestinian specifically. I think that people are th looking at him and they're feeling a confidence and uh, an energy that uh, uh, the vice president uh, uh, is is showing when she can uh, in certain situations. But she has to because she's not giving interviews. Why is she not giving interviews? Because if it ain't broke, don't fix it. She's not giving interviews because she's not going to sit opposite you and have you bust her chops about being the failed border czar. He's not debating her because he's not going to give her another shot at 67 million people uh, to see him stumbling and fumbling and trying to do with bravado uh, what he couldn't do with, with facts, uh, t taking debate every single time. So I think that what you're going to see is him continuing these rallies, uh, the vice president, continuing her rallies, and it, something's going to break. Someplace along the line, I'm not an expert in this, something a place along the line, people are going to say, aha, he's the one or she's the one. But as of right now, today, and as you correctly point out, Chris, this is a snapshot in time. When I take this picture, I see Trump returning to the White House. Mm. I mean, look, in a race like this, and no disrespect to the people out there who are back in Harris or back in Trump, but this is a war of attrition, okay? This is not a battle of big ideas. This is not a battle of uh, different but equally charismatic characters, you know, that overwhelm us. This is about the margins. Once again, the American people are picking which is worse. And there is something sad about that. No disrespect to all the teams involved. Hey, thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget, click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.